The city of Dumaguete is commonly used as a gateway to Siquijor. But Dumaguete and the areas around it have so much in store for you if you're looking for somewhere to go for your next big adventure. For lovers of art, activities, and adventure, it may just have something for you. We were invited by the Department of Tourism Region 7 in partnership with Philippine Airlines to experience some of what Negros Oriental has to offer. On the other side of Negros Oriental from Dumaguete is the municipality of Santa Catalina. Here we were able to visit their mangrove sanctuary and walk along their boardwalk. The boardwalk is a nice stroll that puts you in the middle of the mangroves while leaving minimal footprint in the area. So we are on the boardwalk in the mangrove forest here in Santa Catalina. It's a great place because there's a lot of ecotourism which is important for the for the, both the community and of course the environment. So it's really good to see them taking care of this place and making it so that people can visit and people can enjoy themselves their days here at the boardwalk at Santa Catalina. It's a quiet and relaxing place to go on a stroll by yourself or with friends. As a bonus, you can try your hand at nature photography as this area is teeming with wildlife. We're at the end! Yeah, that was a nice walk, wasn't it? Near the sanctuary at Santa Catalina is the Monkey Sanctuary. So we are now at the Monkey Sanctuary here at Negros Oriental. Behind me, I believe are where the monkeys are. We're going to cross a hang bridge in a bit right before we get to the monkey area. They say to keep your stuff close by because they might take your things so let's see how it goes. There's something about Negros Oriental and its hanging bridges. It's it's all very similar, it feels very similar and it's, it feels both sturdy and wobbly at the same time so it's kind of scary. So I love it. Apparently, smiling is also showing teeth is a sign of aggression, so I try not to smile as much as I can. You can get up close and personal with the monkeys, but remember that these are still wild animals and need to be respected. They are very sociable though, and have a tendency to grab you if they get the chance. So the monkeys here in Negros are a bit of a different experience from the ones in Bohol. These guys are a lot more sociable. They, they climb on you and they really like grab things and stuff like that. And like in Bohol, where you know, you, you give them nuts, you give them food, and then they run away. But if you want to see that video, check out our video on Bohol outdoor activities that you can do. Link is in the description and on the card over there. Here we have the four-legged monkey. And here's a new species, the, the, the winged monkey. Right there. You see. All different kinds of monkeys. The, the good boy monkey. Right there. For a more thrilling time, you can visit Santa Box for a few different experiences. Alright, so we're here at Santa Box Echo Park for some lunch. <laughs> I tripped on, on some roots. Um, so we'll see what we feel like if we're gonna do adventures, but we're here for lunch. So let's go past the Japanese territory gates over there. So let's go. We didn't have much time here, but their main attraction is the spider web, giant swing, and palwa ride. In other words, whether you were looking for a relaxing day, an exciting day, or both, there's something here for you. Moving away from Santa Catalina to the southern part of Negros Oriental is Apo Island. Famous for its ocean activities, you can get here by taking a boat ride from Zambonguita or Dawin. Here you can go scuba diving and experience the diverse coral reefs. Whether you're diving for the first time or if you're a seasoned diver, the reefs here will leave you in awe. For non-divers, Apo Island is still a destination you want to visit. You can go snorkeling above the reefs as well, and you're likely to encounter at least one of these guys while you're there. Apo Island is a turtle sanctuary, so you'll have to snorkel with a guide who will make sure you're taking care of the wildlife, but will also help you take shots like this. If you want to know more about the ocean activities around Apo Island, check out our full video on that here on spot.ph. For a change of pace from all the outdoor adventures, Dumaguete City has a thriving art scene. We visited Mugna Gallery where they had an exhibit called Manifest. Here we got to appreciate the artworks and chat with the artists present at the gallery. The gallery is beautiful and within the grounds it has an exhibit room 
a viewing room for films and videos, and just outdoors, there's a spot for more artworks to admire and even purchase if you're interested. You can also find Subida Souvenir Store where you can purchase local handmade souvenirs. For aspiring artists, there's also 58 Blanco Studios. This is an old house repurposed as an art studio, which offers residency for artists who apply for grants. While we were there, we toured the house and visited two of their offerings. The first was a local shop that focused on sustainability. They sold eco-friendly soap, face masks, and snacks. along with offering refills for shampoos and the like. We also visited the pottery area where they graciously let us try a hand at the pottery wheel. So there's something for everyone visiting Negros Oriental. From the outdoor adventures that you can experience, to the art that you can appreciate, to the underwater world that you can explore, there's always an experience waiting for you in this beautiful province. Once again, thank you to the Department of Tourism Region 7 and Philippine Airlines for taking us on a journey we'll never forget. Have you spotted people, places, or food that you'd like us to feature? Send us an email at spotted at spot.ph. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content from spot.ph.